sponsored by Skillshare. Back in October of 2018, Apple introduced a totally new, totally redesigned iPad Pro. It deleted a lot of the bezels, making the 12.9 inch model smaller and letting the 10.5 inch model expand to 11 inches. They lost the headphone jack, which sucked, but also swapped out Lightning for USB-C, which was terrific. And they topped it all off with a monstrous A1210 processor, which pretty much made any machine with an Intel Core M anything just break down and cry. But that was then, this is now. Apple went all of 2019 without an iPad Pro update. So what does that leave for 2020? And what does that mean? I'm Rene Ritchie and this is Vector. Way back on November 1st, 2018, supply chain exfiltrator extraordinaire Guo Mingqi said that it was more than 50% likely the next iPad Pro would get a time of flight sensor, specifically 3D modeling captured by time of flight and then edited by an Apple Pencil on an iPad, which would create an all new productivity experience for design applications in a totally different manner from traditional computers. In January of 2019, Mark Gurman of Bloomberg repeated that the next iPads Pro may get a laser-powered 3D camera as early as spring 2020. And yes, that's the long-fabled AR camera that the iPhones are supposed to have been getting for a while and may finally ship with the iPhone 12 as well. It's also rumored to be a three camera system like the iPhone 11 Pro. An alleged leak on Sonny Dixon's website on September 17 showed a very different layout for the three cameras, but renders created by OnLeaks and shared with iGeek's blog show just exactly the iPhone Pro layout. Telephoto, wide, and ultra wide cameras in the same equilateral triangle formation. And all of this would be terrific. iPads really need to be the camera equivalents with the iPhones, especially given the quality of cameras Apple is capable of delivering and has been almost criminally underrepresented by previous iPads, including the Pro. I know some people are still perplexingly negative about iPads as cameras, but they're perfect for pros, especially given their amazingly large viewfinders. Pros often pay hundreds of dollars for larger viewfinders, sometimes more, for pro camera gear. It just makes framing, focusing, everything so much easier on mission critical shoots. 4K60 on an iPad Pro is already next level. iPhone Pro cameras, all of them would be next next level. The other major set of rumors swirling around the next set of iPads Pro concern the display. Back on May 23rd, the elect said that Apple was in talks with Samsung for OLED displays for both a 16 inch MacBook Pro and future iPads Pro. ET News mentioned something similar as well, but you can never tell when these types of publications are actually reporting news and when they're just helping the big conglomerates negotiate in public. The 16 inch MacBook Pro, of course, shipped with an LED, not OLED display. Last I heard, Apple still wasn't a fan of OLED for bigger displays due to issues with consistency and costs. Earlier on April 8th, Guo Mingqi reported that Apple planned a trio of new products with mini LED backlights over the next two years, including what became the Pro Display XDR and a 10 to 12 inch iPad in late 2020 or early 2021. The Pro Display XDR also, of course, shipped with an LED, not mini LED display. I'd love to see mini LED on the iPad Pros though, given how good both Apple TV Plus and Disney Plus HDR content looks, even Netflix HDR. Having it on the OLED iPhones, but not the iPads just leaves my eyes all shades of itchy. Mini LED solves a lot of the same problems as OLED, maybe not to the same inky black levels, but also without a lot of the problems that come from OLED as well. It's possible Apple won't have mini LED ready in time, but I'd love to see it in 2020. There are also some other updates that are likely. For example, Apple's getting better and better at spatial audio and adding Dolby Atmos support to everything from the iPhone 11 to the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Given how good the four speaker system already is on the current iPads Pro, the next one should be truly amazing. So should the next chipset. A13X if it's this spring or summer, maybe A14X if it gets pushed all the way to the fall. Either way, it's gonna be beyond beastly. Also, 5G. Apple has a new deal in place with Qualcomm, and they're both racing to get a hybrid modem ready for a few markets this fall. The iPad got LTE ahead of the iPhone because it was bigger and could just suck up the less efficient solution, but it's hard to see any new iPad Pro shipping before the fall having a good enough 5G solution on board. Apple also seems to be going all in on ultra wideband radios, so a U1 chip seems like a safe bet as well. So when could these new iPads Pro come out? 
Apple introduced the first iPad Pro, a 12.9 inch monster in September of 2015. They added a 9.7 inch Baby Pro in March of 2016. They updated both and embiggened the 9.7 inches to 10.5 inches in June of 2017. Then they redesigned and updated both again, stretching the 10.5 inches to 11 inches in October of 2018. That makes for roughly 18 months between iPad Pro updates. Now, Apple sticks to patterns until they don't, but if they stick to this one, it means we'd have yet another update coming our way, maybe as soon as this March or June. And I'll just have to drink so much coffee waiting until then. Luckily, Michael Phillips, director of training at Blue Bottle, has just the perfect Skillshare course to get me through. He shows what it takes to brew an amazing cup of coffee just for yourself, or even if you wanna host your own coffee tasting at home for your friends. It's just coffee the way it's meant to be done. So good, so much. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in photography, video, business, technology, everything you need to make your life better, including and especially with coffee. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on must know topics so you can get better at your job, get a better job, or just learn something fulfilling that's not your job. To sign up, visit the link in the description and get two months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. Act now and start learning today. Thanks Skillshare and thanks to all of you for supporting the show. So that's what I think we'll see from the next iPad Pro. But now I wanna hear from you. Hit like if you do, subscribe and time of flight that bell gizmo. It's the only way YouTube will actually tell you when new videos go live. Then hit up the comments and let me know what do you wanna see from the next iPad Pro. Thanks for watching, see you next video.